Okay, so this is part two. Sorry, I had a phone call. Um, and I'm not really sure where I left off. But I do know the one word that I want to leave you with today is forgiveness. Forgiveness from your past. Do not let Satan steal your future. Um, there is no future in the past. You have to learn to move forward. There's a word called grace. Grace is underused. Um, God's grace isn't just about sin. It's not just about forgiving us that we go to heaven. It's about forgiving our sin daily and forgiving ourselves and being able to move forward. Um, Darius Daniels is another person that I follow. And if you follow me or listen to my videos or even see my post, Darius Daniels, the Thrive Tribe that I had mentioned in one of my videos, um, learning to go from sinking to barely surviving to thriving. Um, those are the stages a, a person goes through. And God wants you to thrive. Uh, he wants you to be elevated and he has a plan and purpose for your life. Um, so don't, you know, get with God and, and get it out. Like I said yesterday in the, in the, in the talk is that you have to pour it out. You have to pour out that shame. You have to pour out that guilt. You have to give everything to him, everything, leave nothing, leave no stone unturned. And you've got to get real with yourself. You, you might've been lying or pretending or trying to make yourself be better than you were but you know you have to call a spade a spade um and no blaming um we contribute to a lot of things in our life we don't do everything some things happen to us that it's not within our control but a lot of our hot mess is is from our actions and and what we've done and so quit placing that blame on, oh, they made me do that, or they made me say that, or if only they hadn't have done that, then I wouldn't have done that. You know, hold yourself accountable to a standard that is is better than that. I didn't do that for a long time. Um, I always thought it was someone's fault. Not always. I mean, like, I did have some introspective, but, you know, it's human nature to, to place the blame on someone else. But when God shows you who you are, and when God delivers you and frees you from the bondage um, that you have been walking in for your whole life, um, you're going to start, you know, the only person that you're going to blame is yourself. And then you're really going to be able to process that. Learn from that. That's the key word, learn. Learn from that. Let that elevate you. And then share what you've learned to the other people. Like, whether it be a video or just in relationship, conversation, talking. But, you know, and don't be ashamed. Guys, we're human. And I don't know where we grew up thinking we had to be perfect or that we knew all those answers that we don't know. Um, but we're not perfect. And so, Darius Daniels, you know, I take notes. So, some of the things that um, I want to point out that... Um, in my notes that he gave me uh, was that regret is mismanaged opportunity. Um, that God controls um, and that we wrestle with ourselves um, and that we, <coughs> you know, our strength needs to be our strategy. It's our skill, not our will. Um, the weapon against that is grace. And um, let's see. There's so much. And I, and I write this so fast that I, I can't even read it half the time. Um, you know, God cleanses us not only from our sin, but from our conscience. Like... You know the sin, you know in our minds so he he really restores our mind and it's really in the mindset and you know the renewing of your mind he says that in his word um you know and he talks about peter how peter um peter really literally when he spoke to jesus and said you know i will not you know i will not deny you and 
and Jesus, you know, this isn't the exact thing, but he says, yes, you will three times, um, uh, before the rooster crows, I believe. And really Peter believed, Peter believed that he wouldn't do it. And in his heart, he believed that he wouldn't do it. I really believe that, but he didn't really know himself well. And, you know, he did it. And so he really weeped bitterly. I mean, like he was beside himself on what he had done. Um, and, you know, God came to him when he went fishing and um, got with him. And I believe that when we get with God and he shows himself to you, and he touches you, and you, uh, you're changed. You accept that forgiveness. We're not deserving of it, um, but he extends it, and um, he wants you to move forward, and all of that that you've gone through and all that that you've done is just gonna be a preparation maybe for where he's gonna take you. and. And, you know, I lost so many years of my life. I'm 55, which I'm 55. You know, like, I could sit here and say, oh, my gosh. I wish, I wish that I could be this young and, and, and know and do all that God has has shown me now. But I can't go back. But he says he'll restore. You can't restore the years so much because, you know, one, every minute's gone and you can't get that back. But he can elevate you or push you forward to what might have taken 20 years to get to. You can get to much quicker. So, like, I think that's how he is going to give you back the time. Um, is by pushing you forward to a place that you couldn't have gotten there without time. And so, in this time frame... Everything that's happened to you guys, it's just building your story so that you can share it with others, so that you can help save souls. And so that's our commission in life. If you don't have a purpose, your one purpose that God has for you, if you're his and a believer and you were created um, to bring others to come to know him and to, to reconnect to restore relationship and fellowship with him so that your soul can be saved and you can go to heaven. Um, so we all have a purpose. So if you, if you don't, haven't found one, um, you do have that one. So hope you have a great day. There's more I, I need to say, but the phone call distracted me and my thought process isn't where it once was. So anyway, have a great day. And I pray that God shows you, comforts you, gives you peace, that he touches your heart in a way that you can forgive yourself and you can forgive others. And that takes time. So I just pray that you, this journey, this process, that you feel his presence and that you feel his love. Um, those are the great things that you need and to know that he's there walking alongside you and as you're you know, faithful, faithful father and friend and comforter and rock and, and so many things. Um, so thank you and have a great, in Jesus name. Sorry.